The Dale Fall Festival is this weekend. Hello and welcome to 18 WJTS Inform. I'm your host, Bill Potter. Joining me in the studio is this year's queen and also the public relations person. The public relations person is always on with us, and that is Nathan <laughs> Brittingham. But the Hello. queen changes every year. And uh, this is Olivia Munier, who is this year's 2017 Dale Fall Fest, the 50th anniversary queen. Congratulations yes. and welcome. Thank you, thank you. Well, Nathan, we're going to go ladies first. That's fine. All right. Uh, Olivia, tell us about yourself. Where do you go to school? Who are your parents? Where do you live? Well, my parents are Greg and Jennifer Munier. I am a sophomore at Heritage Hills High School. I am on my high school soccer team and basketball team. And I'm involved in our FCA, Student Council, and Optimus Club. And so I'm pretty busy with that. Okay, well, you're probably the youngest queen that I can remember. Yes, I am. And this is the 50th anniversary. Does that hold special meaning for you? It does. Okay. Yes. Tell me about, you know, the Dale Fall Fest. We're going to get into all the events, which will be enough reasons for people to go. But what are reasons you think people should go to the Dale Fall Fest this weekend? Well, I think the Dale Fall Fest is very unique. It is probably by far the most unique out of all fests, I think. It brings in so many so much different diversity and it is such a special place and it has stuff for everyone to enjoy. What's going to be your favorite thing to do? Probably the hog wrestling. Oh you're going to, uh, is it the Queen's Court? Yes, okay. the Queen's Court and I've never done it so I'm pretty excited <laughs> about that. <laughs> they, they tell you how that works, right? You you know how that works. You know you're going to get dirty. Oh yes. Oh, yes. Not a problem? Okay. Nope. Well, I know you play soccer. So That'll be alright. Yeah, you're alright with getting dirty. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what is the, the one thing about the Dale Fall Fest that you notice about people when they go there? They're happy. It's such a great time whenever we, everybody gets to come together and just enjoy to, like so much different things. And, and really it's, it's people from all over. It's mm -hmm. not just Dale. Yeah, yeah, and everyone looks forward to it. Huh, this is the 50th anniversary and we're going to talk with Nathan a little bit about that. Now, uh, but before we do, I do have one more question for you. What, what are your responsibilities as the Queen? What do you do? at the Dale Fall Fest? Well, there's kind of a lot. Okay. On Thursday, I have to judge the, no, I have to MC the little Mr. and Mrs. pageant. Yeah, the okay. pageant on Thursday. And then on s Saturday, I have the pet parade I have to judge. So I'm pretty excited about that. I haven't been to that. I haven't had any influence of that. So then we have the parade at two o'clock mm -hmm. that I'll be in. And we have the hog wrestling at four, which is pretty exciting. And then the raffle at 11 that night. Okay, so, so it's a big deal going on in, in Dale. Now, we do want to point out that 18 WJTS will be showing the Queen's Contest, also the parade sometime next week, so make sure that you tune in to 18 WJTS or go to our website to get the schedule. Nathan, what Hello. is going to be happening at the Dale Fall Fest starting Thursday? All kinds of good stuff. Thursday, the grounds open at uh, 530. We've got a Paul Bunyan Lumberjack show this year, so they're going to do a uh, fest opening ceremony at 530. Then we got a cheerleader dance team performance at six. Uh, it's Thirsty Thursday, two dollar beers in the beer garden. Cross tie walkers will be performing in the beer garden from six to eight. We got a Little Miss Mr. Pageant at six thirty, and uh, Euchre Attorney Homebrew Awards at seven. Okay, so Thursday is Thursday is a great night. You don't want to yes. go too much, but because yeah. Friday gets a little bit more than Saturday's the big yes. day. What's going on Friday? Friday uh, our grounds open at four, and uh, we got carnival rides, Huseman amusements. Thursday night, bracelet night, $15. Friday night and Saturday, it's $20. Okay. And uh, gr grilled pork chop chicken dinners at 5 o'clock. Those are served Friday and Saturday. Paul Bunyan Lumberjack Show is at 5, and we're going to have several shows throughout the weekend. Uh, bingo at 5, Gospel Music Promised Land, new band for us this year from 5 to 7, at Center Park Stage, Kitty Tractor Pool at 6. Um, 7 o'clock, another Paul Bunyan Lumberjack Show. Also a three-on-three -three basketball tourney and a horseshoe tourney at seven. Or, uh, at, yeah, at seven. And uh, from eight to 10, we've got Mountain Harmony Bluegrass Band on the Center Park stage. Eight to 10.30, we've got a street dance with DJ High Voltage on the, uh, the former EMT building. And then from eight to 12, we've got two miles back in the beer garden. Now, before we get into Saturday's events on this uh, Paul Bunyan mm -hmm. Lumberjack show, Correct. Wh where will that be? Because they put up poles, don't they, and climb yes. and do things? So where That's are you going to uh, do that? Located in the witty, the witty lot where we used to have the tractor pull. Okay, so, so it's where gonna the be tractor in the, pull? Uh, the northwest corner of the witty feeds lot. Okay, and Dale's not that big uh -huh. that you can't, you can't find Moment. it somehow, or go to the information booth, I'm sure, and, and find out that way. Yes. Uh, okay, what's going on Saturday? 
Saturday we've got the barbecue team registration starting at six. That's from six to nine. So if you haven't registered for that, you know, come out and do that then, or set up and get going. Uh, things start out early, seven o'clock. We've got the 5K walk and run back again this year. There's still plenty of time to register for that. You can register all the way up till the start of that. Golf scramble is at eight. Christmas Lake Golf Course. We got the children's pet parade at nine. A cake walk at 9:30, and uh, children's games. We've got all kinds of children's games from 9:30 to 11. And that will be at the former EMT building. The grounds officially open at 10. With uh, we're gonna have a Paul, another Paul Bunyan lumberjack show going on at 10. Pork chop, grilled chicken dinners will be at uh, 11 until they're sold out. From 11 to 2, we got uh, People's Choice Chili Judging that will be over at the Brown Brothers lot. We walk around and sample all the chili that these guys have made, and you can pick which one's your favorite. Uh, 11.30, new this year, we got Silly Safari's live animal show. He brings all kinds of different animals that you normally wouldn't see. I think he's got an owl and all kinds of stuff. And that's a really neat show. If you haven't seen it, come check it out. Casey's William Trio Band, the Center Park Stage, new for us this year from 12 to 2. And uh, 2 o'clock, we got the Big Dale Fall Fest Parade. And our Grand Marshal this year is Bruce Cisna. So uh, congratulations to him. He's, us he's usually in charge of the parade. Isn't yes, he is yeah. in charge. Yeah, of the I mean, parade. has been for years. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Several years, and uh, great guy. Yeah. He's the town attorney, and just does all kinds of good stuff for us. So, uh, three thirty, the carnival rides open. Another Paul Bunyan lumberjack show. Also, a starbound band in the Center Park stage. Four o'clock, hog wrestle. If you haven't seen that, you need to come check it out. Most people have. And uh, also four o'clock, we've got bingo the WBDC Cornhole Tournament of Champions, and uh, four to seven, 86 band on the Center Park stage. Mm. Or that's in the beer garden, take it back. Five o'clock, another Paul Bunyan Lumberjack show. Betsy Bingo, and news this year, we're gonna have a drone golf ball drop in the softball field. So basically what that is, you get to control a drone, professional drone, and there's gonna be a golf ball hanging from it. Fly it up, I, don't, I can't remember how high he said, but it's pretty high up there, and then we're gonna have a circle on the ground, and you have to try to get that ball to drop, land in that circle, so. To land or end in that circle? Cause it's gonna it, bounce. It's gonna be pretty much the closest who gets into the center of the circle. Okay, that's pretty cool, so, great idea. Yes. Cake toss at six, uh, barbecue wards at 6.30, Paul Bunyan Lumberjack show, that'll be his final show. That will be at 6.30, and uh, we got a horseshoe turn at seven. 8 to 11, Center Park Stage, Terry Lee and the Rocky Boogie Band. Great entertainer, gets up on his keyboard, you know, starts playing around, it's, it's awesome. That's kind of a tradition too, yes. that you bring him back. Yeah, we've yeah. had him for several years now and everybody loves him. Mm -hmm. And then uh, new this year, 8 to 11, this is what we're looking forward to. Dirty Deeds ACDC Tribute Band in the Beer Garden. Wow. It's, uh, that place is gonna be rocking. It's gonna be rocking, it's gonna be a good time. They're the best ones out there. Mm -hmm. Look and sound just like them. And I just want everybody to know it's there's no tickets. It's all free. You come in there. It's free to get in the festival. It's free to get in the beer garden, and it's free to watch any of the entertainment, any of the bands. Really? So there's not even a fee to get into the beer garden. No. Wow. No, no. buttons or anything like no that. No buttons. Man. We don't do that. All free. Yes. And uh, the festival ends with our grand raffle at eleven. Over five thousand dollars in prizes. And license number on file. Yes. N what do you do with the money that the Dale Fall Fest raises? It all goes. We, you know, it all goes back into the festival and it all goes back into the community. We, mm -hmm. we do a lot around the park. We fix up buildings. We put new gutters on you know, a lot of the buildings this year in the park. And uh, we donate a lot to the schools and the local organizations that come asking for money. You know, the one thing about that park, it's, it's like a woods. It's, yes. I mean, it's, it's all very shaded, very nice and breezy. Not that you're going to need that this year because the <laughs> weather is going to be perfect for the Dale Fall Festival. So far, so good, yes. So I guess it took you 50 years to get the weather right? Uh, I believe so. Okay. <laughs> what, uh, what, so this started 50 years ago, right? Yes. And one of the hamburgers you, and I don't want to call it a hamburger, I might have insulted you there, but one of the uh, sandwiches that you serve is, is named after some of the, the original people or some of the folks that have worked hard on it. Yes, the Gus Burger. It's, uh, Gus Wazinski. We okay. started that years ago, and it's, it's been kind of tradition ever since. Yeah, and we, the historian for the Dale Fall Festival, obviously, is Mark Libehusen, <laughs> who is <laughs> off on the side, not quite on camera. <laughs> uh, well, and what do you think is the best part of the Dale Fall Fest? It's just getting everybody to come together as one and seeing everybody. I mean, it's just a great fun time with all the entertainment and, and uh, everything we make is just going back into the community.
Well, oh. I, I think uh, what Olivia kind of alluded to is the one thing I notice when I go to the Dale Fall Fest. There's just something about the Dale Fall Fest, and I think it's happy. Mm -hmm. People yeah. are just happy there, no matter what. They're just having a good time uh, and very neighborly and friendly and yeah. easy to talk to, to folks. It is a good time, and then, I mean, there's so many people. It's people that haven't been to Delph, you know, all year, they come back for the Delph Hall Fest. It's just, it's like a big reunion. Now, there's been a lot of construction and improvements around the Delph, uh, the, the park right there. I mean, new buildings, new, uh, new areas. Is there a, a, any kind of parking uh, that you need people to know about? Well, the parking is pretty much first come first serve basis. We'll have a you know there's a little field next to us, a little lot that people can park in. But basically, it's find a spot around town that you can park in. Mm -hmm. You know, please avoid people's yards. You know, unless they ask you to. But uh, it's just park all around town where you can find a spot. And I've never had to where I've had to walk really, really far. Yeah. So it's not that much of a problem. It's no matter where you park, you're gonna you're gonna be within easy walking yes. distance. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, thanks to both of you for coming in. Thank you for having us. We have had as our guest Olivia Munier. She is this year's 2017 Dale Fall Fest, the 50th Queen. Also with us is Nathan Brittingham, the public relations uh, chairman for the Dale Fall Fest. And off on the side uh, is Mark Libba, who's also on the, the committee. And you guys, <laughs> really, Dale does a great job with this fest. It goes Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Hope to see you there. Thanks to you for coming in. Thank thanks you. to you for watching you. 18 WJTS. We're local people watching local people.